At borders in Russia's east, south and west, thousands of Russian men are trying to escape conscription. Lines of cars stretched several kilometres at the Zemolasi crossing into Georgia Thursday. There were similar scenes at the Kazakhstan and Mongolian borders. Traffic has more than doubled on Russia's frontier with Finland. Among those fleeing was 34-year-old Nikita, who did not want to give his full name. Yes, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, why are you afraid? Uh, because uh, it, uh, it very, it's a very big mistake for Russia, for Europe and, of course, for Ukraine citizens. Germany said it would offer protection to Russians fleeing the mobilization on a case-by-case -case basis. But several other European countries, including those neighboring Russia, are restricting entry for its citizens. Flights to countries that don't require a visa, including Turkey, Serbia and Dubai, are reportedly sold out. Russian citizen Alex flew to Istanbul to escape the draft. I didn't believe that uh, the, the next step will be a mobilization and uh, I feel that not really many lots of Russian people want to, to fight and want to be mobilized and want to go to the army. After suffering significant losses in Ukraine, Moscow says it has begun a partial mobilization of around 300,000 reservists. There are, however, widespread reports that civilians with no military experience or training have also received draft papers. Now they have to turn to something very unpopular and something they try to avoid and try to delay it, the uh, official mobilization of the um, uh, uh, civilian population. There is no way of knowing how many actually will be called up, uh, over what period. Uh, there's no clear end to it either. Russia denied that its citizens were fleeing the mobilization, but it could become a problem for Putin. If the exodus is large, uh, then perhaps they might uh, put formal restrictions on uh, men traveling abroad, uh, particularly of certain age. You know, there is general trend towards, you know, more and more kind of disillusionment and uh, annoyance about the war, but uh, whether it kind of reaches critical point, I'm not sure. Many are being brought in from remote regions of Russia, like Yakutsk. I didn't expect it. I went to the kindergarten with my daughter and they gave it to me in the street. I came here at once. I'm fine, keeping calm. I won't be away for long, hopefully. <laughs> Protests against the mobilization have broken out in cities across Russia. This man shouted that he refuses to die for Putin. Over 1,000 demonstrators were arrested. Jailed opposition leader Alexei Navalny has called for mass protests against the war. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.